Hello again folks and welcome back to the train room. I don't believe I've done a clip on uh, this latest one that I'm working on. I'm afraid I've done my usual trick and got carried away and um, uh, yeah not done a uh, not done clips as it's going along. Um, I mean to be fair I think it's only probably um, only a few hours of work gone into this one um, it's another pull back a little bit another fruit tray layout you know how I like those and this one is um, I think it's Marvin the Martian and if I just go down there a long long time ago I I got hold of this sorry about the mess I got hold of this rocket here and I've always loved it. It's, it's, it's just just a nice bit of fun, and um, it's just been hanging around. And I thought, yep, that will do nicely. Um, we'll use that in a uh, a, a little layout. And uh, I really am working <laughs> in quite a mess uh, at the moment. So what have I done? Um, usual trick. Um, the points, the two. Um, wooden balls you can see there operate those points very very simple method I use there uh, yeah no electrics in that but uh, you can see Bugs Bunny there now what's gonna happen with this one well you probably know that I mentioned Clive from Heathcote Electronics and I am getting a lot more used to um, <laughs> he'll laugh at this I'm getting a lot more use to using um, the wonderful stuff that, 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 that Clive produces um, you know he's, he's not the only guy obviously out there but he's the one that's been the kindest uh, to me because uh, he always gives me an idiot guide um, so I'm just going to pull back and reach the light switch for a start off um, so I'm gonna switch that off sorry if I'm shaking a bit yeah, now you can see we've rigged up, we, I, have rigged up um, four flashing lights on that background. That was just a very, very simple background off of the uh, internet. I think it was 5 99 Quite impressed with it, actually. Um, can't, sorry, can't remember the name of where I got it from. I noticed that I haven't um, shut the curtains, so there's a that strange colour in the left-hand top corner is the sun coming through the window. Um, now Clive has come up with this um, lovely idea of having a shooting star as well. I uh, haven't quite got to that piece uh, yet and I have only um, connected up those, uh, the, the, those four uh, flashing stars. I think we're going to have somewhere in the region of 30 and um, there's probably loads of you guys out there that, that um, are fully aware of this, but Clive is, he supplied me with a load of uh, resistors so that uh, I can fit those to all the different ones. And uh, obviously there'll be different strengths um, of yeah, how bright they are. Um, right, I'm just gonna go and pop the light back on again. Sorry if I wobble guys. There. Oh, right, so I've just got Marvin the Martian flying around there. We've got a very simple overlift track, but there's going to be two, um, uh, two loops there because I, I want two different space uh, trucks. Now, this is going to be a little bit noisy, but also um, Clive's uh, infrared uh, detection devices are going to be used uh, quite heavily on this one uh, so if you take Bugs Bunny in the middle I've just got him wired up to a battery but as Marvin comes around um, not very good timing there on my part but I know you'll bear with me um, yeah Bugs there you go um, nearly Bugs will follow him with his ray gun or his blaster now I believe we've got Daffy Duck there um, I think we're going to use <laughs> the Royal Wii, that's quieter than me. Uh, going to come up with some sort of uh, ray gun for that one. 
Uh, in the background, I did slip up because I didn't realise that um, that character there in the background uh, was smaller. So we're going to use him in the background as if he's surfing. You can see I've not, uh, I've actually thought about this one. So this section here at the moment, big hand comes in. Yeah, I can get at that one um, just to finish that work off, off, off there. So uh, I have in the past got carried away and done a little bit too much and then thought, oh, how are you going to, um, how are you going to disguise the track? Now, I have, I've always used Sculptor Mold before and Sculptor Mold has got ridiculously expensive. Um, so, I'm, sorry guys, I'm going to flash over here. The Emmet one that I'm still working on, of course, I'm always working on a little bit of Emmet. But I found this on eBay coming into shop now. Um, what's this one called? It's a comp. This Fox miniature dioramas. I hope I'm okay doing this um, advertising. But you can pick this up. So one kilogram bag there. Um, it's virtually the same as sculpt mold. Well, why have you said that, Carl? Because it's not. It's it's the same sort of consistency, but I haven't painted this at all. This is it. This is what I've used for this 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 moon um, uh, moon space scene or or, or 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 whatever it is. I'm so so pleased with it. It has set absolutely rock hard. It dries in about half an hour. You don't get that sort of water bleed that you 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 do from um, sculpt mold and. My usual go-to greys, which I've painted just on the polystyrene there, I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, I have painted grey inside Bugs's hole there. Um, and I think I will, just to give it a little bit of depth, sort of, you know, paint the inside of these uh, craters. Yeah, the, the, these, these craters here. So, hopefully once again, with uh, Heathcote Electronics is help. We're going to get quite a lot of movement uh, on here. Got lots of other ideas. I think there's a guy called Yoshimiti somebody or other. He's coming. I bought him off of eBay for a couple of quid, coming from Spain. Um, and there is other creatures, mixtures, or whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have quite a few things um, running on here. So I'm going to slow this down. I bet it'll stop now. I don't like it running up running at those speeds. I've just been running this in. That's better. So yeah, definitely aimed at the children. I think this is going to go in a shop window. Sorry, I know it's going to go in a shop window uh, just over the Christmas period. That's the eye of this one. A local shop there, the guys asked me if I'd come up with this one. And I took it on because it's space and it's a little bit different. Um, and also I can't say no. And um, yeah, it's nice doing something different. Very, very easy little layout. Uh, I will do another clip because I'm going to spin around now. Um, I've been tidying up the wiring on the um, my Emmet layout. Now, what I did was with the Emmet, I just started building it those all those number of years ago, and then I met um, I met Clive. And he started coming up with that with his ideas, because um, obviously Emmet is all about movement. Um, well, that's what you know got me into it. Um, so spinning around now, you'll probably remember these guys here, uh, and all the wiring was on the front, so you could see it. Well, obviously this layout now is going to go to shows next year. And so I will do a video uh, later because I finally got around to um, having some time to fit Heathcote's devices. One again, I think the sun's just in the wrong position there or maybe in the right position. But you can see those two dots there again. I pointed them out before. That is it. It's a very, oh God, I'm gonna word the, use the word simple now. Apologies, Clive. It's a very simple device once you get your head around it. I mean, it did baffle me for a start off, but you know, Clive says, no, it, it's basically an on off switch. And what's fantastic about them is you can, um, 
you know, set the time anywhere between a few seconds and um, I'm not quite sure what it goes up to. I should have, I should, I should have done that. I've had that working. I will do another clip. It's fantastic now because the guy on the left and the guy on the right sitting there as the train hits the crossing, coming from the right-hand side, I think their faces follow it, which is just what I wanted to, um, wanted to happen. Um, look, I'm doing my usual thing. I'm saying, um, gosh, I don't know how many times. I don't, uh, I should probably think before I press the start button um, on the videos and think what I'm going to say, but I don't, I just ramble. And um, yeah, I should probably think more. It's really warming up today here in the UK. It could be another really, really hot day. So I'm not gonna do much more today, but if I can, I'll do a clip uh, before I leave, just of, um, of, of those guys' heads working, because I think it's fab. And I'm just turning around now. And I was gonna say something different. It's not really different, is it guys, with this layout here? It's, <laughs> it's it's a train set in space isn't it <laughs> or whatever you want to call it uh anyway guys i hope you like it i hope you're all well and um happy modeling <laughs>